I see this tutoring as a medication for my child to, to be successful. It's what he needs to be successful, so it's what he, he will get and we'll make we'll make it work no matter what happens, you know, <laughs> situations were different or not. So I work for the Davenport Schools actually. I am um, a literacy coach. I've been a reading specialist uh, my entire life. I've worked with struggling readers uh, my whole career. So this is my 16th year in education. So I, um, yeah, so pretty much this is where I'm at. I knew early on that Ben was just going to struggle with reading. His language was delayed. Um, just a lot of his retention of letter sounds, letter names after, you know, of course, me being a reading teacher, working with him extensively, just wasn't retaining anything. And so I was like, what? Something's just not right. So we had him tested in Iowa City, and he was identified as a dyslexic learner. I almost feel like, you know, how did Ben become a dys... You know, how, how did I get this <laughs> dyslexic learner? I mean, he, my, being a reading teacher, he's supposed to excel in everything, right? Well, he didn't. So um, it's been a little bit of a struggle trying to get what I know he needs. We seeked out north side so that he could get um, in addition to what he's getting in in the public schools um, because it's clearly 30 minutes a day of a program that is um, suited for his learning style is not enough you know we have a huge pool of dyslexic learners in our in our district um, but to to call them that I guess to use the you know the, the term dyslexia or dyslexic it's hard because they know that there's research-based programs out there that will help them it's just not realistic with the number of students that we pull in to our schools that's why we chose private tutoring so that he so that Ben could get that one-to-one -one with a trained professional they can move back and forth through the program they can see if Ben is excelling and they can move you know, faster, or they could see that he's struggling, and then they could move down, so they can pace it based on his um, his needs, and not just the mass majority needs. I see this tutoring as almost like a um, a medication for my child to to be successful. Um, you know, do I wish that he would get this in the public school setting? Absolutely. Do I wish that I wouldn't have to pay for it? Absolutely. But it's what he needs to be successful, so it's what he he will get, and we'll make. We'll make it work no matter what, ha you know, <laughs> situations were different or not. So I sit through meetings with, with parents um, who, children who have not been I identified as dyslexic learners because they haven't taken the next step to get that final um, identification, but they have all of the characteristics, all of the check boxes that, you know, this your child is a dyslexic learner. Um, and they just, you know, they'll say things like, oh, they're so lazy and they just don't care and they're just not motivated. And I'm like, Ugh, you know, that's not the case. Um, they need something different. You know, they need a different type of education. They need a different type of program to, to reach them. I wish more than anything that I could just send Ben to school and he would be able to pick up a chapter book and read and love reading. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't. I would love more than anything for Ben to come home from school and whip out his homework and do it without tears and without crying, without struggling. And um, But it's not. So it is a burden. I mean, it's a mental burden. It's a financial burden. But at the same time, it's no more of a burden than if a doctor were to tell me, you know, Ben had cancer or Ben had leukemia or something. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's something that you deal with and it's something that you you seek out help. Being a dyslexic learner, school's hard for him. Um, we have many days where he comes or in the morning where he doesn't want to go to school. Um, he cries, and, and that's a burden for me as a working parent. But when it's time to go to tutoring after school, he hops in the car, he gets in. You know, we usually make our, our daily run to McDonald's. He gets his French fries, which, you know, per perks him up a little bit. And he comes in and he's happy and he's and he comes out and he's always excited and happy. At first I thought, this is not the Ben I expected to see at first when he first started coming. I thought I would be dragging him in, you know, by tooth and nail, but I think it's because the program that you're using here is what's best for him. It matches his learning style. So it's like we've given him almost, almost kind of like a crutch of uh, what he needs. You know, it's like how much easier it would be to walk using a crutch versus walking on a, on a bum leg all day. So, um, and that's what's a little disheartening is why can't he have that type of program all day long? Mm -hmm.